people, welcome back to the studio. I'm still working on this embellished gicle limited original of my painting, The Glory Never Fades. And the fun thing about this is we can change colors and just do all sorts of fun things. If you've been watching, you've noticed I've changed some of the wildflowers in the background. And uh, Anyway, what we're going to do is on this cactus, which has yellow flowers, we're going to change them to a pink, purple, uh, purpley pink, I guess. I'm not exactly sure um, how to say it, but I'm using mixes of permanent rose plus white. That's this, which is a nice, really pretty pink. And then I'm going to make the centers of these more purpley. So these are flowers here. And then the back, since the back of these, this blossom doesn't receive any light, it's darker. But then the interior, they're going to have a yellow center, but around that center they're going, there's going to be some purple in there. So, can put that in. This is, this is the, one of the fun things about doing these limited originals is being able to change and, and just, I change door colors and flowers and just add fun things in. And so it's really, really neat. And these are called limited originals because they're each part of a limited, a limited edition, but since I go back in and paint on every piece in the edition, none of, the, none of them are exactly the same. So they're original within themselves. Excuse me. So it's like with this. Now, these will have pink flowers on my cactus, which the others that I have done in this edition, have, I've maintained the yellow. So that's just really one of the fun things about, about doing this. And you can just see how that changes, and it um, just gives a whole different look to the painting. And this again is my permanent rose plus white. The purple I'm using is dioxanine purple, and I have added a little bit of that permanent rose into it to kind of marry the two colors together. But this just gives us some pretty, pretty blossoms here. Again, I just then I'll add this purple down here in the center, and that's going to have a yellow center in there. The ones that are more open, you'll see it better. The permanent rose plus the permanent rose is just a beautiful pink, and I use that a lot on bougainvilleas, and it's really a, just a wonderful color. I can't. With our double primary palette, it's just I can't mix such a rich pink. This is, it's really wonderful having this special color to be able to use. Several of you have asked me, why do I wear gloves while I'm painting? And it's really a very simple thing. My skin is very dry. And working with the thinner, and like when I wipe my brush and everything, you just invariably, you get that, that thinner gets onto your hands. And it really dries my skin out, and I get really painful cracks around my corners of my fingernails. So that's why I, I wear the gloves. It just helps protect my, my skin from being so dry it sure makes it a lot more comfortable. It's just nothing complicated about it, just very simple. I 
And this gives me, I'm, I'm using several combinations of this white plus dioxinine purple and now, I mean white plus permanent rose and then here I'm using the dioxinine purple plus permanent rose plus white. And it just, it gives you variation within the blossoms, the, the petals and, and everything. You, you want that, the, if you look at a flower, the petals are not all the same uh, shade and, and there's a lot of variation within them. You can get a little more white to help me squeeze some of that out. But if you look at flowers, the petals are varied. The, the shades and, and hues in, in the petals. So I use a lot of different, different combinations of the same colors to just get a variety of shades. And I just showed you my color mixtures. You can see that I have different, several different shades mixed out there on my palette. And that just allows me to give that variety. It makes it more interesting. And you want people to be able to look at the painting and find, you know, just have interesting areas. You don't want your painting to be something that is viewed from a distance, but then when people get up close, they, they find color surprises and just all the different variety of brush strokes and shades of color. Texture. Just all those things go into making a, an interesting painting. But you can see how this is changing the way this looks. This is a Giclée. It's a high quality digital image on printed on canvas with inks that have a longevity of 250 years. So this, this won't fade. It's also, the, my printer is, he coats it with a UV coating which adds extra protection. So it's, it's light fast. It's, archival quality. And then I come back in and, and paint on them. It's just a really it offers enough, you know, a, a mid-range option. It's not near as expensive as an original, and yet they're more expensive than my open edition prints, which are just uh, you know, they're not numbered editions, they're not I don't enhance them or anything. But this is, this is something that my collector can hang on the wall. It's signed on the front, just like an original painting. And you get back three or four feet, and it's difficult to, just to distinguish from an original oil painting. Especially with all the painting I come back in and do on it. Okay, now I'm going to add the centers to these. I'm going to do yellow center, so it gives a little pop of warmth. And that's cadmium yellow medium, and then I come back with a little cadmium lemon. I'm going to use a little smaller brush here. Let me get a little smaller brush. I want to put some dark in here. through all my reference material on cactus flowers. My collector, Mel and Jason, they asked if I could, if it was possible to change the, the flowers on the to the lavender pink. And I said, they said, now it's up to you, you know, you're the artist, so if you need to leave them the 
the yellow we certainly understand. But I like to accommodate my collector's wishes if I possibly can. And this works out very, very well. I'm going to bring a little bit more of the purple just right in here for the shadow in there. We won't see much of the center on this one. We'll just see a little bit of the light hitting there. And the same with this one here, because we're seeing this flower more of a sideways. But as the cactus turns and we see more of the inside of the flower, then we can get that center. Questions, feel free to contact me in the comments section. And I'll be happy to answer. I help artists all over the world and ask questions and I try to help anyway. And I have a blog where I show the complete step by step process of this piece as well as the others I do. So the link is in the description below. It's also, the address is on the final frame of my video. And I, you can also subscribe to my blog. And you'll receive an email notification every time I make a new post. So you can follow along as I paint. See what's on my easel from day to day. So there we are. We have, have changed the cactus flowers from the yellow to the purpley pink. And I really appreciate you watching my videos. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you have a wonderful, wonderful day.